So you're shopping online for a gun, and you've pretty much given up on finding the one you're looking for. Nobody has it. Then you stumble upon a new gun shop you haven't seen before, and this shop has the gun in stock. This one store has the gun ready to go at a price you can afford. So you place the item in your virtual shopping cart and proceed to play your part in the non-delivery scam. The website was designed to entice you into trying to make a purchase which will involve transferring funds from your personal account through a service like Zelle into somebody else's account. Then that person will take the money and run. I'm going to provide you a list of red flags to be on the lookout for so you won't be taken in by the non-delivery scam. Gun and ammunition distributors and manufacturers have no need to restrict the age of visitors to their websites Creators of bogus online gun stores are simply using this tactic to make themselves appear concerned about the safety of your children. Gun manufacturers don't normally sell to end users directly. They sell through distributors, so you won't find an online gun store dedicated to selling the firearms of a major manufacturer. The corporate site for Ruger is a prime example of how manufacturers will list the current product lineup, provide detailed information about the different models, even provide downloadable spec sheets, and then point shoppers to reputable online distributors that carry their firearms. You will find no link between a manufacturer's corporate website and a bogus online gun store. For example, here is a scam website that appears to be dealing Taurus guns exclusively, TaurusFirearmsUSA.com. If you visit the actual Taurus corporate site, TaurusUSA.com, and then start searching the menu options, you will not be able to navigate from there to the Scam Taurus gun store. Always look to see if there's a link between the corporate site and a website representing itself as the manufacturer's official store. Bogus gun stores online have everything in stock. Keep in mind, revolvers tend to be in short supply as a result of how manufacturers prioritize where to put resources. Revolvers are costly and time-consuming to produce in comparison to the more popular polymer-framed guns. So if you suspect you're looking at a scam site, drop what you're doing and look to see whether the manufacturer's wheel guns are in stock. If the whole product lineup of revolvers is in stock, something's wrong. Get out of there. Scam sites don't often list a physical address. If they do, it will be false. The scam site RugerWeaponsStore.com lists an address that is both false and also deceptive. If you search their listed address using Google Maps, you will find yourself dropped in front of a strip mall. Make use of the street level view, turn yourself around and look at the mall. You should be facing a pizza hut. Stroll a bit farther through the parking lot, take a look at the shops, and you will find yourself looking at Crosshair's Gun Store, an actual gun store not associated with the scam site. I contacted Crosshair's Gun Shop and learned they are aware scammers are using their address. The scam site RugerFirearmsWorldwide.com uses the same strategy. If you go to the contact page and scroll down, you'll find an address, phone number, and email for making contact. Again, drop the address into Google Maps, zoom in, and then take a look around at the street level, and you'll find another strip mall. Turn yourself around to get a good look at the mall, and right there, front and center, is another gun shop, K5 Guns Exchange. They also know a scam site is using their address. Scam websites rarely have a customer service phone. If the site has a phone number, the scammer is using the same phone number to run multiple scams and doesn't always know which scam he's responding to when you call. The scammer running CargoLinesShipping.com, a bogus shipping service operation with a very convincing looking website, has listed the same cell phone on his contact page that he listed on another site. Another scam he's running called RugerFirearmsWorldwide.com. If you call the number, he only mutters, Hello. Were he to say anything more than that, he would likely blow one of his scams. If you call the phone number listed on a scam site, you will be talking with a young man speaking English as a second language and using a burner phone somewhere outside the U.S. 
the reception delay between phones may be so pronounced as to make conversation almost impossible. If the scam site has a contact page, the page will have an email form and little else. You won't find any robot filter or invitation to receive a newsletter. You should consider this page to be an attempt to start owning your contact information. Scam websites don't normally list social media. If they do, the social media will be part of the effort to create an illusion. Always check social media for problems. A scam website called SaulGunbroker.com lists a bogus Facebook page, which in turn has an address pinned on Google Maps. When I took a closer look and zoomed in on the address, then made use of the street level view, I found myself looking at University of Colorado, Boulder. I navigated up and down the street, not a gun shop in sight. Scam sites may offer services no gun distributor online can legally offer. One scam site called usagunfactory.com offers to facilitate processing a permit of some kind, though the site is unclear as to what sort of permit it's talking about. The site claims that once you complete the online form, a quote, agent will follow up for payment and to provide further instructions. But one look at the form should send you running. Among other things, the form asks for your social security number. Don't even think about it. Scammers will agree to ship guns directly to your front door. Obviously, they don't intend to deliver anything, but if they agree to do something as illegal as shipping guns to your door instead of an FFL dealer, that's confirmation it's a scam. Scam websites typically accept payment through Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Cash Pay, MoneyGram, Interac e Transfer. World Remit, and Western Union. Con artists don't set up credit card service because that costs money. If a scam site does appear to accept credit cards, again, don't even think about it. That online form you're looking at is just another attempt to own you. Scam sites also typically offer to accept Bitcoin for payment. Firearmsunknownshop.com puts Bitcoin at the top of the homepage so you get the message loud and clear. The ubertiguns.com site also advertises on the homepage that they accept Bitcoin. Scammers know something about your personal resources if you own Bitcoin, and therefore they'll provide what appears to be a valid Bitcoin transaction to gather your financial information. Emails provided by scammers for you to attempt a Zelle transaction will not be in the form of sales at company or billing at company or accounts at company. For this video, I went through the motions of placing an order for a gun through coltguns.shop. The last step was for the scammer to provide me an email and name to whom I would transfer money through Zelle. But who is Taiwanakia Gordon? Reachable at marshalitcloset at gmail.com. A willing co-conspirator? Or a mule? Somebody out of money? Somebody in trouble? Automatically generated form emails coming from scam sites will have grammatical mistakes and typos. However, you should spot language problems long before you try contacting scammers because scam websites often have language mistakes revealing the scammers are overseas and know nothing about U.S. gun culture. Look at this homepage for the scam site, coltusaguns.com. You see a picture of an AR-15 with a title next to it reading, the only single action army. Whoever put this together does not know what single action means and probably has never handled a Colt firearm of any kind. Here's a scam site called RugerFirearmsWorldwide.com. The homepage both highlights the challenges facing a con artist speaking English as a second language and reveals this scammer knows nothing about guns. He forgot to pretend that he sells Ruger firearms. However, he does pretend to sell Glocks, along with an assortment of training rounds, snap caps, and so on. The scam site ColtGuns.shop has glaring typos. The only single of Army and Colt at it best. Here's a scam site called RowGunShop.com, an online Ruger gun shop sporting the picture of a Glock and a Smith & Wesson snub nose. A very nicely engraved snub nose, I might add. Nice work. 
Scam sites are using the padlock icon and HTTPS to appear concerned about your security. The padlock and use of HTTPS means that data sent between your computer and a website is encrypted or scrambled and cannot be intercepted by hackers. This may still hold, but the person at the end of that encrypted data stream still has access to your data. Encryption is inexpensive and easy to set up, so you've got to know who you're providing your credit card information to. Scam sites also enhance the impression of security by using recognized emblems suggesting a high degree of compliance with business standards. For example, a Better Business Bureau emblem, or a Stella Service Seal of Excellence, or a Google Trusted Store emblem, or a Trust E certification emblem, or other assorted seals and emblems. These are all just JPEG images lifted from other websites. Con artists who build scam sites often use the same templates from one site to the next. Take a look at ColtGunsExpress.com. Drab, inelegant, but distinctive. Too distinctive. In fact, if you stumble upon RevolverGunStore.com, you recognize just how fast these guys are working. Recycling templates, content, whatever they can get away with. Finally, scam sites are generally new. If you have the time and inclination to do more investigating, you can go to domain.com where you can take advantage of the Who is Domain lookup feature. Enter the domain of the website you're concerned about, confirm you're not a robot, and click Look Up. What you'll discover is that these scammers are busy, busy bees, setting up new sites all the time. You rarely find a scam website older than one or two years. Now, if you're still unsure about your ability to spot a scam, I suggest going to StopGunScams.com. The site is dedicated to the non-delivery scam. On the home page, scroll down to the search bar, right in the middle of the page, enter the domain of the new online gun shop you found, and see whether or not it's in the database. The database is growing almost daily, and you can add to it by filing reports on scam sites you come across. Go to the section Report a Gun Scam to do this. You don't have to have been the victim of a scam to file a report, and your report is confidential. No one can search StopGunScams.com to learn you were scammed. Remember, new scam sites are published every day. The problem is not going away. You can consult StopGunScams.com and bookmark this video to give yourself a refresher in the future, but you still have an obligation to investigate unfamiliar websites every time you go online. So be skeptical online. Stay sharp.